In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your formulas so that you can account for athletes who might play multiple sports or positions. So for example here, I have a data set on the left hand side where we have a sport, an offensive, and a defensive position listed for each athlete. And as I select from my drop down up here, if I were to select just football, you can see that all of the athletes are pulled out. But then as I start to select the different positions, we automatically change our data set to only include the athletes from that position. This is gonna be really powerful if you're creating any kind of monitoring dashboards and want to add a little bit more flexibility for some of those athletes who might play multiple positions. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and in order to get started in this project, I've just set up a data set here on the left-hand side. So just to orient you to the data set, what we have is the athlete, and then some of the descriptor variables that we might be using for this athlete. So in this case, we have the sport that they're playing signified by FB. We're gonna work with football in this example. And then we have um, an offensive position and a defensive position that they might be playing. So this is pretty common in high school sports or other sports where you have really athletic individuals and they might be playing uh, multiple sports on the same or multiple positions on the same team or even playing multiple sports. So you might wanna have like sport one, sport two, sport three, um, et cetera, and then you can use this solution to pull out the values based on that. The value that we're gonna look at today is just a theoretical bench press max, and that's just so that we have something to calculate. And then this last column here is an active. So what this might work with is if we had a master athlete list with a checkbox, and we were checking off the athletes that were active, that's gonna give us a value of true. So I just put the value true in here, but what this could easily be is I could easily just insert a checkbox in here, and when they're true, they are checked off. So for example, when I'm checking all of these off, um, they are true. So this is just gonna signify that I want this data actually included in the data set. So I'm just going to undo that a couple times so that I get my true values back. And then finally, to make it easy, I've just named the athletes, um, athlete and then position one, position two. And that'll just allow us to check our work when we actually pull these values out, okay? So in order to set this up, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is actually create some drop down menus. So the first one we're gonna use is sport. So to do this, I'll click in this top box here and I'm gonna go to format, or sorry, data. Um, data validation, and I'm gonna choose list from range. I'll click on the spreadsheet icon here, and I'm just gonna choose this first column by clicking on the B, and I want it to start at cell B2 and then work its way all the way, way down B, because I do not want to include um, the sport header. So I'm gonna start at B2, work my way all the way down, hit okay, hit save, and I should be able to choose the sport of football. Now, because we've set it up that way, if I was to enter a different sport in here somewhere, I would be able to choose that sport as well. So that's important for when you're setting up your data. It's a good idea to use these types of drop-down menus because as your data changes, um, your references are still gonna stay the same and you'll be able to select those out. So then for the second one here, we're gonna create another drop-down menu for the positions. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go to data, data validation, click the spreadsheet icon, and this time, I'm actually going to select two columns. Okay, so I'm gonna select all of column C and all of column D, but I'm gonna start at C2 because I do not want these headers. So basically what this is gonna do is go C2 all the way down and D2 all the way down. And when I hit okay and hit save, now I'm gonna be able to select any of the positions that are in those two columns. So for example, QB, if I changed this to, I don't know, um, striker, and then put another position over here of let's say, I don't know, um, scrum half. If I go to my positions, I'm still going to be able to ch um, select those positions. And you notice they're just in order of how they appear in the actual data set. So I'm going to just um, undo those a little bit. So we go back. So that's a, a neat little trick there is you can actually create um, a drop down menu based on multiple columns at the same time. And this is a way that you could account for say sport one, two, and three, 
um, position one, two, and three, etc., and just have all of the positions in there. Okay, so now with that in mind, um, all of our athletes have the DB um, position, so I'm just going to select that for the purposes of our formula, and let's start to build out this formula. So what I want to do is I want to bring out all of the athletes that match the criteria of sport and match the criteria of position and also are active, so have the true value. So what I'm going to do here is use the formula filter. So in this first cell, I'll just click up top and I'm going to type equals filter. Open this up and Google Sheets has this little um, question mark here and if I open that up it's going to tell me exactly what I want and in this case the first thing we want is our range and I'm going to just pull out the athlete names for now so the range is going to be A to A and you can see as soon as we do that it highlights it all the way down so all of the athlete names and then comma the first thing that I want to pull it out based on is if my position actually equals the position that we've chosen so if I close this off, we can see that we've, uh, sorry, if my sport actually matches the sport we've chosen. And if I close that off, you can see that our sports are stored in B. So I'm going to choose B to B. So um, B, double dots, B. And then when that is equal to H2, which is where we actually select our sport from, what is that going to do for me? If I close off this formula and hit OK, you can see now that when we choose a sport, it's going to give us all of the athletes that are associated with that sport. Okay. So it doesn't matter what position we have right now. It's just based on the sport. So that's step one. Okay. So let's go back into this formula and edit it. Now the problem is, <clears throat> is that I want to check to see if they play an offensive position or if they play a defensive position. Okay. So if I was just to choose, C to C equals the position um, and D to D equal or and then comma D to D equals the position. What that's going to say is that I want them to play an offensive position that is chosen and a defensive position that is chosen. So what I need to do is actually add an or in there. And the way we do that in a formula like this is with the plus symbol. And that is going to um, it's called Boolean logic. And what that's going to do is say if condition one is true or if condition two is true. So what this is gonna look like, I'm gonna do um, two brackets, because this is all gonna be um, in a bracket together. So two brackets, and the first thing we wanna look for is C to C, if that is equal to H2, which or sorry, H3, which is where we store the position, um, bracket, so that's condition one, plus sign, which signifies or, and then when I open this back up, we're gonna go D to D, and if that is equal to h3 and close both of those off so right now what this is saying is um, filter i want you to pull out all of the athlete names stored in a to a comma when the position is equal to the position chosen so b to b is equal to h2 and then the next condition is and when um, the position is equal to either an offensive position or a defensive position okay so i'm going to hit enter here and when i hit enter you can see that nothing changes because everybody plays the db position but if i was to check qb you can see now it's only pulled out our qbs and then if i pick wide receiver you can see that it only picks out our wide receivers and then back to db now the problem with this is is sometimes you don't want to just pull out a position and if i clear this you can see that we get an error. So what we're gonna have to do is fix this formula so that if we just wanna choose the sport of football, it chooses all the athletes from football. So let's go back to DB. So, the, so how I'm gonna do this is I'm actually gonna put an if formula in here, okay? So I'm gonna check to see if this, um, where we're choosing our position is blank, then we're gonna do one sort of set of rules but if it's not, then we're going to perform this calculation here. So right in front of where we have um, the CC equals H3, I'm going to add an if formula right in the middle here. So what this is going to look like is if, and then I'm going to open that up, 
and then we're gonna check to see if this is blank. So H3, if that is equal to nothing, and then comma, what I wanna do if that is true, what this will ask me to do is what I wanna do if that is true, then I just want to return all of the athletes that are active, so F to F, okay? So if H3 is equal to nothing, then just return any athletes that are active and I don't even need to put F to F equals anything because it already holds a value of true. So it's just going to return any values that are true. And then comma, if it's not, then I want you to perform this calculation of looking for one position or another position. Okay. And then I'm just going to close this bracket off because you can see when I type in the bracket, it highlights one of the brackets that it matches to and hit enter. <coughs> And now what you'll be able to see is I can choose the different positions and that is saying um, filter everything and it's not empty. So then choose the one position or the other position. But when I, when I delete it, it's going to return all of my athletes that play football because this if statement H3 does equal nothing. So we're just returning all of the true values in the active column. Okay, so the last piece to organize this um, is just we're going to go to the end here and just click through the brackets. And for all of the conditions, I only want to return the athletes that are active. So I'm just going to add one more condition at the end of, of F to F to only return true values and hit enter. And what you'll see is if I were to add, take away a bunch of these athletes, you can see that they get now get removed from the actual list or I could replace these with false values and it still stays the same thing okay so I'm just gonna put these trues back and you can see our athletes get added back okay so that's how you start to filter out the athletes based on sport and position okay now the last piece is I actually just want to pull out their scores for that test as well so if I go back into this filter formula at the front where we have the range that we're looking for if I put curly brackets here and then a comma at the end, then I can add another range of the bench press and then close that in curly brackets. So what this is saying to filter is I actually want to return two ranges. So anything within these curly brackets, it's gonna return as a separate range when the conditions match, which they should always match because these range are from this exact same table. So when I hit enter now, it's gonna give me all of my bench press values. Now there's one more thing that we might wanna clean up on this formula, and that's if all the conditions are not filled out, it's gonna give us this nasty error here. And to clean this up, all we have to do is wrap this whole thing in an if error formula. So I'm gonna type at the beginning of this filter formula, if error, open that up, go right to the end of it, and it's gonna ask me what I want as a value if there's an error. And I usually just like to add double quotation marks to just make the cell empty and then close that off. So now you can see the cell just becomes empty. If I choose my sport, all of my scores come back. And then if I choose uh, my position, you can see my scores automatically change. Okay, now that's how you would pull out all of the different values that match a certain set of criteria because um, we were graphing it or something like that. Now to use this in a formula, what we could do is take this whole filter and I'm gonna copy the whole thing. And then what I could do over here, if I wanted to take an average of that, in this cell here, I could type in equals average and then paste that whole formula in there and close it off and it will actually give me an average of that number. And as I change the position, you can see that the average changes um, to match because what this is doing is taking an average of this whole returned range. Okay, so you could take this whole formula here because that is giving you exactly what you want based on the criteria and just start to put this in different formulas like a sum or an average or different formulas like that and you will get a range that automatically updates based on the sport and the position that you've chosen. So with this um, trick you can now create graphs or do all sorts of different calculations based on any number of criteria. 
and you know now how to account for athletes that might play multiple sports or multiple positions and we could have up to three four five six sports or six positions um and and your formula will automatically work to accommodate them as long as you keep adding these or criteria in the middle so that you can um, return the athletes that play this position or this position or this position etc okay so i hope this trick helps you out and makes your life a little bit easier and if it does if you could like and subscribe to the channel that would be great and that really helps me out and helps the channel grow and i will see you in the next video thank you